of course, uh, another privilege to play tomorrow right across the boss, being the responsible for this guy. We can call him up just one more time, Ross Lynch, but thanks very much, Ross. Right? Uh, Ross, uh, Ken Hogan related the story, I guess, about the, the, uh, you know, the wheels that were put in progress to get you across to Princess Park as it was then. Um, it was a, a difficult thing for you to have to um, come to terms with. Were you up for the boot or were you reluctant? Uh, how much talking to actually take to get you over the Nullah or into Nullah? Um, Tony, so, like, when they originally came over, I thought, well, you know, one of these guys, I'm not good enough to go and play with those bloody legends over there, but Parkin insisted that I at least go over and watch the grand final in 81. I went over and watched it and thought it was just the greatest thing ever. Um, I went to the grand final function that night at the, at the uh, casino or wherever they used to hold it. Uh, the cross. At the Southern Cross, I think that's where it was. I believe that. Yeah. <laughs> and just had the greatest time of my life. Uh, spent a couple of days over there. Realised that all these guys were just, they were superstars, but they were fantastic fellows as well. And I thought, well, I can fit in with that type of, type of guy. And I uh, was really looking forward to going back the following year and, and try to see if I could make it. I, I, I can think of one decision that you made tonight to, to, go to, the, to go to the crack, but that, that aside, um, was it probably the best this career decision you made in your time? Of course it was. Of course it was. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, dear, I can tell you a few stories about uh, Auntie and a few nights ago there. I mean, like... Have you ever booed me to golf? No, I no, <laughs> not. But, to go to go to is such a great club, and, and when you hear that song, Tony, that that just means so much to uh, everyone who's been involved in the premiership. Probably not so much if you haven't, but to people that have been involved, involved together, that song is just such a fantastic thing. And Jody knows that because I sing it all the time at home. Oh, uh, but uh, to go over there and to walk into Carlton, <coughs> they actually sent me a. Um, a pre-season training program to do before I went over there the first year I was there and because like I'm a pretty hard trainer and I thought I was doing a fair bit like I was running along the fence line and I'd sprint for five steel posts and then jog for two and then sprint for five and jog for two and I went over there feeling pretty fucking special and I think I got a bit of a shock because what I was doing was nowhere near enough. And uh, I remember training for 14 nights in a row. I was staying at the Park Royal Motel, which was just over the road from Rail. And I used to go to training and crawl over the road, try and dodge the trams and all that sort of thing. And then I wasn't working at that stage, so I'd sit in the swimming pool for the whole day, trying to get my calves. <laughs> get a bit of movement in the calves and back to training and then crawl home again. And I think they even had me on the on the bed in the trainer's room one night taking my heart um, palpitations because so I think I might have missed a few things. You might have your garage up. <laughs> yeah, well, I've already told that story, aren't I? But anyway, it was the toughest two weeks of my life, but once I got over that and then like um, the boys said, we uh, jumped in that plane and went to Swan Hill and I played at centre half forward, they recruited me as a centre half forward, went up there and I kicked six goals and they gave me an award and I thanked the ladies and thought, well, come, come the first game of the year and I thought, well, I've got to be a chance to play and didn't get a game and then that went on for several several weeks and then so eventually they gave me a game against um, the Swiss Grey at the Western Oval and I played uh, quite a bit of time and got two kicks and then back to the Rezies and it was then that I had a heart to heart with Parco and we sorted out that uh, I probably wasn't quite phys physically strong enough to play centre half forward but shit I was quick. <laughs> Stage when they pull me a full forward and never look back after that. Yeah. Yeah.